take a bit of a different approach to this month's housing market report. We strive to provide you with a quick glimpse of how the market is performing locally by sharing a few specific, specific statistics. We know everyone's time is strained, especially this time of year. So if you're casually following the market or you're, you aren't at all, um, you know, you may not be interested in this entire report. With that in mind, be sure to take a look at the timestamps provided in the description below uh, to, to fast forward to the information that you want to know. Now, for those of you looking for more detailed information, I'm going to be covering not only this month's performance markers, but also going more in depth about how the market conditions may impact you if you're looking to buy or sell a property in the near future. And let me ask you this one favor, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of this vital content. And don't forget to like the video or leave comments below. I appreciate it. In journalism, there's a saying that you don't bury the lead. If you ask me, the lead has got to be prices right now. The average closed price for a home in the Denver metro area in October exceeded $612,000, 9% higher than one year ago. That average is comprised of single family residences selling for an average of over $684,000 in October and the price of multifamily slash condos and townhomes selling at an average of nearly $442,000. After a surge during the summer months, home prices began to level off in the later part of the year. Still, they are much higher than we saw at this point in 2020. Thanks in large part to, um, to favorable interest rates, buyers are not shying away from higher priced homes, as I'll illustrate later. Now, we did see a record set this October with the count of listings under contract hitting an all-time high of 5,800 5, in October. This is a strong indication that we could see vigorous home sales in the coming months, and that would be seasonally accurate. Now, every year at this time, we get the question about how the market potentially, how the market potentially slows during the holidays. Well, it's true that the, while the number of listings um, decreases towards the end of the year, buying activity tends to remain strong through the end of the year, with only slight relief over specific holiday weekends. There are all kinds of reasons that people need to buy or sell near the end of the year. From a month to month perspective, the market continued to see seasonal cooling with September with closings down 4% compared to September. We currently only have three weeks of inventory for buyers to choose from. What's impressive is that in October, it took an average of two weeks for homes to go under contract. Year to date, more homes have closed than we saw at this point in both 2019 and 2020 with buyers purchasing 34% more homes in the $1 million plus range um, compared to this time last year. Last week, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate from Freddie Mac inched up to 3.1%, and experts project rates will continue rising through 2022. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage was 2.9% in the third quarter of 2021. We forecast mortgage rates to increase slightly through the remainder of the year and reach 3.0, rising to 3.5 for a full year of 2020-22, possibly even higher. Now, if you're thinking about buying a home, here are a few things to keep in mind so you can succeed even as mortgage rates rise. Mortgage rates play a significant role in your home search. As rates go up, your monthly mortgage payment increases if you're buying a home directly, uh, and which directly affects how much you can afford and even the smallest increase can have a large impact on your monthly payment. With mortgage rates on the rise, you've likely seen your purchasing power impacted already. Instead of waiting and hoping that interest rates will fall, today's rates should motivate you to purchase now before in interest rates increase even more. As we've noted before, every, for every 1% interest rate goes up, you lose 10% of buying power. Now, you can use your newfound motivation to energize your search and plan your next steps accordingly so you're prepared to act no matter what happens with mortgage rates. One way to do that, taking risk, taking rising rates into consideration as part of your budget. Danielle Hale, Chief Economist at Realtor.com, put it best, saying, Smart buyers should consider calculating a monthly payment not only at today's rates, but also at the rates that are a bit higher so they won't be derailed by a sudden upward move. You should also be ready to act when you find the home that meets your needs. That means getting pre-approved with a lender so that there won't be any delays when the time arrives. The best way to prepare is to work with a trusted real estate advisor now. We can connect you with an outstanding lender, help you adjust your search based on your budget, and be ready to act quickly when it's time to make an offer. We actually have several videos on how we approach making offers that we would suggest watching, but reach out, we would love to guide you through it first. 
Serious buyers should approach rising rates as a motivating factor to buy sooner, not a reason to wait. Waiting will cost you more in the long run. Let's connect today so that we can better understand your budget and be prepared to buy your home even before rates climb higher. Finally, the last thing I would want potential home buyers to come away from this thinking is that it's too challenging or too costly to buy a property right now. We have a proven track record of helping, um, having great success working with our home buyer clients this year. As skilled and experienced agents, we've developed several strategies to help you be successful in this market. And if it hasn't been said enough already, the interest rates, though rising, remain historically favorable for would-be home buyers. Let us connect you with one of our top lending partners to make sure you're set up for success. So let's take a deeper dive into how sellers are benefit from current market conditions. As we near the end of the year, more home homeowners are realizing the benefits of today's seller's market. Record-breaking home price appreciation, growing equity, low inventory, and competitive mortgage rates are motivating homeowners to make a move that addresses their life, their changing lifestyles. In fact, recent data from Realtor.com shows a larger share of homeowners are planning to list their homes this winter. So that means there could be more homes about to hit the market, which would lead to more choices for buyers too. According to George Ratiu, the manager of economic research at Realtor.com, the pandemic has delayed plans for many Americans and homeowners looking to move on to the next stage of life are no exception. Recent survey data suggests that the majority of prospective sellers are actively preparing to enter the market this winter. Now, if you're thinking of waiting until the spring to sell your house, know that your neighbors may be one step ahead of you by selling this winter. And if you want to stand out in the crowd, this holiday season is the best time to make sure your home is available for buyers. Now, here's why. Historically, a six month supply of homes is needed for a normal or neutral market. That level ensures that there are enough homes available for active buyers. The latest exi existing home sales report from the National Association of Realtors shows that the inventory of houses for sale sits at only a 2.4 month supply. This is well below a neutral market. So what does that mean for you? Well, when the supply of homes is is as low as it is today, it's much harder for buyers to find homes to purchase. This drives up competition among buyers who then submit increasingly competitive offers to win out against others in the home search process. As this happens, prices rise and your leverage as a seller rises too, putting you in the best position to negotiate a contract that meets your ideal terms. If you thought bidding wars were a thing of the past, think again. While the bidding war rate has fallen from its peak in April amid a typical seasonal cooling in the housing market and has plateaued in October, a second wind of home buyers demand is fueling competition again. And I suspect that in, when we review numbers in no, for November, we will see that plateau beginning to rise at the end of the year. Now we see this cycle nearly every year for well over a decade, with the exception of 2020, a year adversely impacted by the pandemic fears, of course. And while the low housing supply we're facing won't be solved overnight, sellers this season should move quickly to maximize their potential. As the data shows with more prospective sellers planning to list their homes this winter, selling sooner rather than later helps your house rise to the top of, holidays, of a holiday buyer's wish list so that you can close the best possible deal. Listing your home over the next few weeks and early into the new year gives you the best chance to be in front of buyers competing for homes this holiday season. Let's connect today to discuss how you can benefit from this uh, seller's market today. Now, as we've said before, we're at an opportune time in history of real estate. Don't miss your moment to sell while we've got record high prices and low interest rates remain favorable for home buyers. This could be the best time to take action on your plans. We know that everyone's situation is unique, so please give us a call to discuss how this current real estate market impacts you. We would love to hear from you.